I'm going to demonstrate the measuring tool in StreamBeam. Um, the stream measuring tool can be found in the lower left corner of the screen. We have a quick measure, which basically will just measure anything. Um, you just click a, a point and it will measure the distance between objects or the, the difference in depth uh, in the object. And you can just keep um, adding measurements here and it will just measure wherever you are. So that's just a quick view. You can also remove, if you're not interested in the vertical uh, vector here, you will just uh, remove those that are not relevant. So you will do a vertical, horizontal, and then the normal vector from whatever you click. You can also add a measuring plane. Basically, it's just a clip plane. Uh, but based on where you're pointing, it will identify the plane. If I now click on this wall, it will create a measuring plane. And the idea of this measuring tool is uh, that you can eliminate or at least minimize the drawing production in your projects. And also that um, um, the staff on site don't have to um, well be dependent that the engineers, uh, the architects, have pre-measured and uh, tagged the drawings with measurements up front. So you can basically pick up your own measurements from this view. Slider on the left-hand side, uh, you can adjust uh, the depth of your uh, measuring uh, plane. So if I now slide it through the wall, it will show you now we're at 94 centimeters from the wall uh, I originally clicked. Um, and in this view, you can add additional measurements. And if I start clicking on one of the circular objects, it will identify the center point of that, uh, in this case, the duct. And it will give me the uh, diameter and the distance to the next duct, which also identifies a uh, center point there. So you will get um, the dimension by di diameter and uh, the distance between the center points of those ducts. Uh, any of these measurements, if they are not relevant, so the say the height to the suspended ceiling here is not relevant, then I can just remove that. Uh, and if I don't want to measure uh, height up to this well, sprinkler pipe, I can then select this vector and uh, make it go uh, further into this measuring plane. So now we have uh, the distance up to uh, the slab above. And that's what I was looking for. Uh, from this center point here, I want to measure the distance to this wall. So I click between uh, this vector and the pipe, but I don't want to know uh, the distance to this uh, sprinkler Pipe, so I'll just select the vector here and I'll just keep going here. Note that I'm now working on um, a PC. It will act the same on a Mac, but a slightly different functionality on the handheld devices. So please take a look on that video as well. Now, this vector is not relevant uh, and you can just keep, keep taking measurements like that. As you can see, the slider is now gone. If you want it back, you want to move the slider, and this is where you can bring it back, uh, back on into the screen and keep sliding and do uh, different measurements. So now I want to see, well, this interior here, you can just keep going on measurements here, add as many as you like. Um, and then, uh, of course, you can uh, save it later on as well. Um, yeah, and if you want to start over in the same section, you can clean the house by hitting this icon down here on the left, and you can start measuring again. As you can see here, if you just hit center point or any place here, you can add in between. It will save the vectors as well. So it's quite simple, quite neat.